Howdy lambs. You're not kids. Kids are goats. You're lambs. Lambs are sheep. Prophecy says that he separates the sheep from the goats. We are his sheep. Howdy. Howdy, lambs. So the music that I have in the background is from one of the playlists, playing lists, called, here's the title of it, These Attract Love, Friends, Social Joys, and Money. Because in the dream books, I'll say if you dream of a minuet, it means one thing. If you dream of a jaw harp, it means something. So I took all those positive meanings and made a playing list of them. This is a minuet. I'll put a link. So, this is our alternative heroes, our temporary heroes. They're temporary till we get heroes of our own forming bricks in our network. Uh, now my tale, why, why I want to uphold heroes and I want you to uphold them. I want you to give them thumbs up and subscribe and give them money and give them publicity, talk, share them, talk about them. My tale of why I want to do this is in the first one that I made about the YouTube channel called MRE9. MRE, Mr. E, I guess it is. Mr. E, get it? MRE9. MRE means meals ready to be eaten. It's an army, army's uh, designation for little canned, canned meals. Now, um, so these are temporary heroes until we have the heroes of our own from our own bricks. A brick is a local unit of uh, our network, brotherhood, sisterhood, whatever you want to call it. It consists of between from seven to eight to twelve families based on a particular interest. And I'll list it, some of these interests for you at the end of the video scope. Uh, if an outsider wants to begin a brick, we will protect them. It doesn't matter what race they are. Anybody can form a brick if they they. Some bricks have to be unregistered. They they get uh, a lower status than the registered bricks. Now, the first hero I'm going to talk to you about is called. It's a YouTube channel. I have no idea who this is, if that's his real name or... Uh, and he's been banned from uploading apparently uh, starting about three years ago, but he's this... Oh yes, I'm working on enunciation because I have had a tendency to slur my words. So if you catch me not enunciating, if you don't understand something, ask what it was in the comment. Uh, now this, I'll, I'll spell it out for you, and I'm going to link it also below, A capital N-A-R-A-Y-A-N, -A space, capital D-H-E-K-A-N-E, -E. repeat, capital N-A-R-A-Y-A-N, as in Nancy, space, capital D, H, E, K, A, N, Nancy, E. That's a YouTube channel, and uh, the lore on that channel is most valuable for the shenanigans of our foes and how they, subs they create fake personalities for the fake celebrities and they, they all use 10 different people to not well they use several different people to play the role of one celebrity you think you're seeing the same person but it as the as like Paul McCartney for example uh, 
think that one year you look at him and the next year it's somebody else, but he's still the, being presented as Paul McCartney. Or who, and it's not because Paul McCartney died, but that's the same and true with the, all the Beatles. And anyways, I don't, I'm not going to try and tell you everything that he says on his YouTube channel, but the lore is most valuable. He obviously has inside lore uh, to the average, what do you call it, uh, <laughs> dumb, uh, inexperienced person. It looks really fake and fantastic. You know, it looks like something you made up as a as a fake fantasy. But uh, to a very experienced person, or to someone that actually asks God for revelation of the truth, it's going to be obvious that it's uh, that it is mainly the truth. Now he has made some careless factual mistakings. Uh, using the wrong names or dates sometimes, occasionally. And you can learn what these are in the comments because the commenters have become aware of these mistakings and they have commented about them. Uh, he did not explain, as Ed Chiarini has done, how the likenesses of the same body, a likeness, a likeness, you know, a picture, a likeness, statue, picture, videoscope, of the same body can appear to be unsame. Two likenesses of the same body can look unlike each other, even though they're the same. He didn't explain that, but Ed Chirini has explained it on his channel, and we'll get to him in another videoscope. And he's made mistakes too, but... By and large, uh, it's very worthwhile. While they are in truth the same body, and Narayan de, de, Narayan de Hekane has not tried to prove him the facts. He presents the facts. He has not tried to prove them. And this is good, for we must ask God for revelation of the truth. God, the breath dweller, the oldest one, we must ask for a revelation of the truth. Proving it's not always so easy. It's not even worth it once you uh, have a revelation. Now, uh, one thing I discovered, I had I said in the, in the first video scope in this series that I hadn't seen much of MRE 9's video scopes. Well, I had, but the, what I'd seen had been shut down. I didn't. I wasn't aware it was the same person. Um, he's done a lot about tra what what do you call it, tranny uh, analysis. Of people that have had sex changes, mostly from uh, female, male to female, and I think he's made a lot of errors because I've known that he uses a proportion uh, on the face and the limbs, um, size of the head, width of the shoulders, this kind of thing. I've met women that had men's proportions, and even I myself, who's obviously a man, see this is a real beard here. Uh, I'm not a woman, I didn't take testosterone. Either. So, uh, I got enough of my own, I hope. <laughs> so, um, but I've seen men with female proportions, so it's inconclusive, but what I did find one thing that is conclusive, as far as I'm concerned, is on the the male, the navel, is much higher than the top of the pelvis. Whereas on the female, it could be a little bit higher, or it could be below the pelvis. Now, so I do a search for the person's name and bikini, if it's a, an alleged female. Now, he exposed uh, Andy McDowell, and there's no pictures of her navel in a bikini. 
he claims that she's a man. And there's no picture of her navel. Another one that has a very high navel that was accused of being a tranny is uh, uh, Keisha Noble, the pickup uh, teacher in England. So she obviously has fake tits and he. So I think it's a he because the navel, his navel is very much higher than the hip. So that's enough about MRE, Mr. E9. Now the next hero I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about three of them. One is Walter Veith, V-E-I-T-H. He has a lot of YouTube, many, many YouTube videos exposing the Church of Rome and uh, Islam, a lot of their shenanigans. Another is, it's all one word, Bible or traditions. It's all one word. And the third one is, uh, these are YouTube channels. Sheila Zielinski, I'll spell that Z-I-L-I-N-S-K-Y. I'll repeat, Z-I-L-I-N, as in Nancy, S-K-Y. And Walter Weiss is V-E-I-T-H. So these three channels are all in our temporary heroes and I want you to thumb them up, subscribe, comment, and give money to them. Now, I don't have much about either any of those three um, where about to be cautioning you. Most likely they are unaware that two Jesi were, two Jesi. One was crucified by Pontius Pilate. One was crucified by Vespasian, the, who subsequently became the emperor of Rome. Two. So uh, when they say Jesus, when some people say Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene, had children, that's Jesus number two. That he was taken down from the cross while he was still alive, that's Jesus number two. Jesus, number one, is the fulfillment of the prophecy of the Lamb of God. So they don't appear to know that. And most folks don't. I'm one of the few that's uh, spreading that information. Also, they do not appear to know that the Lord has come back already in 1971. He came in the clouds. 10,000 people joined him in the clouds. That's past, okay? He's here. Uh, he came back to his folk, Israel. It's a population, it's a folk, in Israel's new homeland. New homeland, which is in the prophecies. And it says, David, I will give you a new land, west of the pillars of Hercules, buddy. So, now, Bible or Traditions website, uh, YouTube channel, I especially recommend one of his playing lists, which is about the book of Revelation. That is really a, an eye-opener. Uh, so many people are confused about that book, but he's got it very, very clear. Only up until the 20th century, however, up until uh, uh, the liberation of Jerusalem by Allenby. That's as far as he understands it. Uh, Sheila Zielinski <laughs> he claims to be the only program to give you the truth. Well, uh, I wouldn't say so. Why would she say, I mean, she gives a lot of truth, that's true, a lot of it is the truth, but why, that statement itself isn't the truth, so where, where's she coming from? Now, I have listened only to her Disney expose, which was just fine, just fine. 
And just now I listened to uh, some, some guests she had talking about Thanos and uh, that movie he was in. Uh, that seemed to be pretty good, although there was... Um, now Sheila appears to have believed that the... Here's what her phrase, the end time harvest of souls. She seems to believe that that phenomenon is other than the pieces program of Premier Watt. The end time of harvest of souls is going on right now and it's the pieces program of P-E-A-C-E -E, program of Premier Watt. And she seems to believe otherwise. This is wrong by that. So if she, if that's what she believes. Uh, Norse mythology is mentioned in the in the expose of the Thanos picture. And I want to make a comment is something people don't know. Norse mythology is a later distortion. It is very late in history. The things that it's talking about happened thousand years, 1500, 3000 years, some almost some of them before that mythology was invented. But it was real, involving real people. So it's a distortion of the tale of the children of Noah. And their children and the descendants of their children. And in Norse mythology, Loki is Lucifer. Now, um, I'm going to put on my narrator voice, in which I always use good diction. Huh? Um, here, be notified. Well, I have to read. I can't look at the camera. So sorry. Be notified of free events online on these topics and how you can participate in the fight and establish a protected culture of our own. I'm going to put links down below where you can be notified and find out how to participate. And here are some of the topics. Bah. Day. I can't see. Okay. So, here's some of the topics on this board, and I'm also going to read to you. Two kinds of white folks. Symbolic saviors. Oh, I've got to get back in my narrator voice. Children of Thor. Distribution network. Whoops. Shooter families. King Halfdan. Martial Arts Club, Family Survivors, The Woodacres Woodchucks, Israelite Chaplains Corps, Friends of the Gerund, No Property Tax. Oh, come on. Okay, there are lots of good links for you below on these topics and others. How you can participate and how you can be notified of the events. Thank you for coming. Be sure to click on some of those links and explore. See what it's all about. See what, what you want to get involved in. Thank you.